there is a lot of big words in real estate. And I find that I break them down a lot for people in order to understand their meaning. One of the big words is intermediary. And that word is super important in the transaction process to understand. I'm Sarah Gangora, and I'm here to give you the scoop. Here's the scoop with Sarah. So our big word of the day is intermediary. What is an intermediary? An intermediary is one person that acts between two parties to get a goal accomplished. In this case, in real estate, the first way someone can act as an intermediary is if the brokerage serves a buyer and a seller to get to the finish line on a transaction. A buyer's agent and a seller's agent both represent each party, so they do get full representation on the intermediary relationship and they close in the way that any other transaction would close. The only difference is that on the paperwork, the brokerage name is represented one time. So this is a great way to get to yourself to the closing table by having the brokerage act as the intermediary. The second way an intermediary relationship can be used is through an agent. An agent is the intermediary between a buyer and a seller. So this is a little bit closer relationship. And what happens during this is the agent becomes what we call Switzerland. So they cannot advise on any party on how to handle the situation with the deal. They can only give facts and they have to give the same facts to both parties. Many people find advantages to using an intermediary um, agent between both parties because they can typically get a cheaper transaction. But at the end of the day, someone may feel like they are not being fully represented. They get the short end of the stick. So this is a very touchy subject. Many agents will not do an intermediary relationship for this very reason. Um, so you wanna check with your agent to see if that's a possibility. And if it's not, hire an agent so you will get full representation uh, throughout the process, which may net you a better deal at the end of the day. There are clear advantages and disadvantages to having an intermediary relationship. Definitely check with your agent to see what those are. And if you have further questions on real estate, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to stay on top of all real estate content. And visit me at www.saragangora.com.